A troubled school where we uncovered questionable spending and a missing curriculum. Today, Chicago parents and students learned their charter school will close at the end of the school year. It's a story you'll only see on two with our Lauren Victory. It was only a few weeks ago that we learned Chicago Virtual Charter School had landed on the CPS warning list again. So this news is not too surprising for parents, but it still hurts. It, it, it's just, it's trying not to tear up. Lisa Varga is actually one of the lucky parents from Chicago Virtual Charter School. She won't have to scramble to find a new place for her son next school year because he's a senior. I do have a few friends in younger groups and a lot of them are actually a little bit afraid because they don't know what to do now. CVCS offers a model unlike any other in the city. Learn online four days, go to a physical classroom just once every week. That works for Stefan Varga so he can get on the job training during the day. I can just work ahead and and then I won't fall behind on that specific day. Flexibility may be what led to CVCS's downfall. We began investigating the unique school 10 months ago. Chicago Public Schools had put the charter on academic probation and gave the school an opportunity to right the ship. That's when it started sinking more. About how many of your colleagues have you seen leave? I've sort of lost track. Staff members left in droves after they say administrators forced academic changes on them too quickly, including a curriculum shift that left students without their textbooks for weeks. Then there were the peculiar spending decisions. CEO Cheryl Pruitt received a $26,000 pay bump to $176,000, even though the taxpayer-funded school was on financial probation. Pruitt was put on paid administrative leave after our story. Everything I've reported so far is factual based on documentation and what CPS says. The way says. that you put it together, Lauren, is lacks integrity. Several parents now tell us that woman, CVCS's director of strategy, has been MIA. We discovered the school was on the hook when Angela Richardson Bryant flew to and from work from her home in Atlanta. Just last year was very stressful and last year is just when it all went down the drain. You're sad on behalf of other parents. I am. Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. And in a letter to parents, the CVCS board said, the president said, quote, the decision to close has not been easy and the upcoming changes will be difficult. Within the past hour, the district finally got back to us saying the final decision won't be made until next week. Regardless, the Chicago Public Schools Inspector General tells us the investigation he launched after our investigation continues.